14-year-old Michael Nobles has been living at Tara Hall Home for Boys in Georgetown County for nearly a year. I ended up getting in trouble in school a lot and getting referrals and I eventually got kicked out of school. So my mom sent, here, sent me here for rehabilitation. Something that wasn't an easy choice for Sandy, Michael's mom who's also a single parent. Just knowing that you have to leave your child behind. Well, I mean, we know that he's with a good place, you know, he's at a good place, he's getting taken care of. It's just that he's not at home in his own bed. But not everyone has the ability to send their child to a place like Tara Hall. Sandy and Michael waited three months just for an interview. Executive Director Jim Dumb says there just aren't enough homes like this one in South Carolina for children like Michael. I think there needs to be more of our size because our size can really get to know the kids. Dumb says a smaller home like Tara Hall can focus on all the specific needs of the boys. Staff also work with parents if they can't afford tuition. We have an on-campus school program because many of our boys when they first come are anywhere from a year to three years behind. And with Friday's closing of the Billy Hardy Home for Boys in Darlington, Dumb says there may even be more of a demand for a spot at Tara Hall. And that's why events like we're having today are so important to us, because we do rely on the generosity of the general public to keep us going. Dum says if they get a few more applicants as a result of other closings, they'll be ready. We have the capacity right now to go up to 24, and we have 18 kids in care so we can squeeze in six more. I'd have to hire more staff. So that more boys like Michael have somewhere to go. In Georgetown County, Mark Liverman, WPDE News Channel 15.